It would be really cool to look at. Oh, and by the way, right there, this is where Stephen Colbert licked it. Right there. <laughs> Stephen Colbert visited the Rose Center one afternoon, worried that the uh, his talk show comedy talk show host job would be in jeopardy, and he wanted a, a fallback job as an astrophysicist. So he had me train him to be an astrophysicist that afternoon. And so I showed him the meteorite, and he just decided to lick it. And then I said, "That's the oldest thing your tongue has ever touched." At five billion years old, he said, "Nope." I once had Jane Fonda on my show. <laughs> so, so I was like, whoa, where did that come from? That, then I dug up a YouTube clip, and Jane Fonda is on the show, and she saunters around the table, sits in his lap, and tongue kisses him. So this, this is like in his hand when that was happening. So, but I digress. <laughs> Jane Fonda and the Big Bang in the same sentence. So, uh, so we see the galaxy, and Hubble noticed this. He used data provided to him by others. And uh, Huntington and Slifer, two uh, very uh, brilliant experimentalists. In the astronomical world, we call them observers. So they look at the galaxies, and we find out that the spectrum, credit Isaac Newton, the spectrum, there are features in a spectrum that we attribute to various chemical elements. Carbon has a fingerprint revealed in a spectrum. Oxygen has a separate fingerprint. I use a fingerprint almost literally here. It's got, it's a, every element has its own signature in the spectrum. So you know what the pattern of lines of features looks like on Earth. You look at the galaxy, you find that same pattern, but it's shifted. You say, well, how much does it shift? That means the galaxy is moving away from us. We learned this from Christian Doppler, a German physicist in the 1800s. He did an experiment with a train. Okay, and so what happens? The train whistle goes by. We know this intuitively, even if you've never thought it. It doesn't go, well, let's, let's do it with a race car, because I can make that sound better. <laughs> the car goes, <laughs> right? Did I get it right? That's pretty good, right? right? But I feel better than the train. All right, so the car does not go, <laughs> it doesn't do that, does it? No. It doesn't go, no. It doesn't do any of that. It goes, high pitch to low pitch. So the sound waves up front, every sound wave it makes, it now travels closer to that sound wave before it makes the next wave. So the pitch, so the wavelength is shorter, the pitch is higher. Okay? And when it receives, the sound waves get stretched apart. You get a lower pitch. So analogizing what we see in the universe, you can conclude, again, you can conclude that the galaxies that show the shift to longer wavelengths of light are moving away from us. They indeed were. He then noticed that if you were twice as far away, the object was moving twice as fast. And he looked in every direction and found, like they had some kind of case of cosmic BO or something, <laughs> all the galaxies were scattering away from us, all except for a couple that are really nearby, like the Andromeda Galaxy, which we will collide with in a few billion years. More on that later. So, if you're interested, we'll do the, get the meteorite before that, because that'll be more important. Yeah. So, so, it later turns out, Einstein shows us, that this redshift is not specifically a Doppler shift, it's a, what we call a cosmological redshift. It shifts because space itself is expanding. And so the wave, as it moves through space, gets stretched in the expansion, the fabric of space and time itself. And so, if everybody's moving away, turn the clock back, you can ask the question, when was it all in the same place at the same time? That was 14 billion years ago. That's how we date the Big Bang. We look around, turn the clock back, and which way is everybody going? Back to the same spot. It looks like we're at the center. But the signature of this expansion would be revealed no matter where you are. If you go to this other galaxy over here, this expanding fabric of the universe will look like it's centered on this galaxy as well. So everybody was at the center 14 billion years ago. There's not some center somewhere else. We all occupied it in a different state at the same time, at the same place.
14 billion years ago. Did I answer both questions? Oh, age, yeah. So how do we know this shift is not because the thing's getting older? Because if you're getting older, you, you might have some red stars in there. It doesn't actually shift the lines. You can change the color, but without shifting the, the pattern of lines. That's why we look at the fingerprint. Fingerprint is here, there, or there. You got it. And you know it's not something else going on. Let's get another Twitterverse question. You got one? And you, now you can start with Armin. We'll know you're just messing 